Hi guys, uh, thanks for tuning in. Uh, we're here today at uh, Inox Dine with me, uh, Ben. I'm the head chef here at Inox Dine. Um, so today we're going to be cooking uh, cauliflower macaroni cheese. Um, here in front of me I've got some of the ingredients that, well all the ingredients should I say, that you'll have in your cookery packs. So just talking you through some of the ingredients that we have. We have uh, your milk, uh, the cauliflower, we have an onion, we have our bay leaves and cloves, we have our butter, we also have our flour and mustard powder, our two different types of cheese, we've got our cheddar and our parmesan. We also have our dried macaroni shells, our um, breadcrumbs and our chives and thyme leaves. You'll also in your packs get a recipe card with all of your ingredients that should be weighed out correctly in front of you or in your packs at home. Also in that um, uh, recipe card you'll get your equipment list of all the equipment that you need to get before you start this whole cookery process. It just If you get all those, ingredient, uh, all those equipment bits together it will just make your lives a lot easier. I should also say at this point that you will not be getting any oil or salt and pepper in these packs so you will need to grab those yourself from the shop or if you already have them in your house that's great news. So let's just dive straight into it. So first thing we're going to start off with is our uh, cauliflower. We're just going to cut these into florets. The easiest way to do that is if you've got yourself a small knife at home. Um, so you should see the little little florets, they're all in florets already. We've got big chunky ones around the outside. So all we're going to do is chop them off. An easy, another way of doing it is you could just break them off with your hand. I mean it's, it's nicer cut because it just leaves a nicer finish on the florets. So I'm going to cut them. And then all we're going to do with that is we're going to cut them down into smaller florets so that they're all even and that they cook evenly in the oven. So the closer to the core you get, that bit we're just going to throw away. And this is the part where you can just pull them apart for the smaller ones. I'm just going to leave them in a nice pile on the board. Chopping these bigger, bigger florets into smaller pieces so that they're all the same size. Just tearing them open, like cut through with the knife, and then pull apart. She get a nice even cut. And that's all your cauliflower prepped, ready to go into the oven. Once we've got all the cauliflower cut up into nice little florets, what we're going to do is get our non-stick tray. We're going to pop all our cauliflower onto the tray, and we're going to coat it in a nice generous drizzle of, of veg oil or olive oil, whatever you've got at home. Either's preference, I prefer veg oil just because it has a, a lower burn rate or temperature. And all we're going to do there is just give it a nice dusting of some salt and give it a good toss around so all that oil gets coated over that cauliflower and the seasoning as well. Once you've done that, that's going to go into a preheated oven of 200 degrees for 15 to 20 minutes just to get a nice caramelised uh, finish on there. Next we're going to grate our cheese. So we've got our two cheeses here, we've got our parmesan and our cheddar. So first we're going to grate our cheddar on the nice thick side of the grater. Hopefully don't need to explain this too much on how to grate cheese. It's quite a simple task. Just grate all that cheese down. Put it into a nice little pile on the side. And then we're going to put our Parmesan cheese and that's going to be on the finer side of the grater. If you don't have the finer side, it's alright, you can use a thicker side. It's not, it's not the end of the world. I'm just choosing it to do it like this because Parmesan likes to melt it at a different rate than cheddar. It's a harder cheese. So once all that's grated together, all we're going to do is get rid of that. We're going to mix these two cheeses together in the same pot that it came in. 
get a nice mix, get rid of all that off the board. And that's going to be for our cheese sauce later. So next job, we're going to chop our chives and the mixing of our chives, uh, thyme and our breadcrumbs together. This is just going to be our topping for the top of the macaroni cheese for when it goes into the oven later. So all I'm going to do here is chop the chives up nice and finely and mix them back through the herbs and the breadcrumbs. So on your board, all nicely together. Make sure you're using that chopping motion with your fingers together, your fingers and your thumb together. And all we're going to do is nice slow seesaw motion with your fingers in that crab position. Slowly chop through those chives and get them nice and fine. Obviously take your time, don't rush. We get a nice even chop on them chives. This is just the garnish for the top of the macaroni, as I said. Once we've got to that stage, what we're going to do, we're going to pop it straight back into our herb pot with our timers. Use your knife as almost a little scoop, scoop them up. So next thing is we've got our chives and our breadcrumbs together there. And all we're going to do then is grab a separate bowl and chuck those both together to a separate bowl. Give them a nice mix up. Get that nice green flowing through all those breadcrumbs. And like I said, that's you. That's basically just the crunchiness that you get on top of your macaroni cheese at the end when it comes out of the oven. So that's your breadcrumbs and herbs. So the next step, we're going to chop our onion and we're going to make our little clouté, which is basically your onion and your bay leaf and your cloves. So all we're going to do here with the onion, keeping that claw, that crab, is we're just going to chop the onion straight into half from root to stem, which basically looks like that. And all we're going to do now is just peel that onion, get rid of that top layer of skin. That, that can be quite bitter in your sauce. Just chuck that into the bin. And the other side. side. At this stage, all we're going to do is we're going to top and tail this. So we're going to chop the root end off. Which is the furry bit that you get at the bottom. We're going to grab our onion like so. We're going to stick our bay leaf on the flat side of the onion. And all you're going to do is stick your cloves straight through the bay leaf into the onion. And this is basically what's going to become the flavour of your milk in your cheese sauce. So that's one. We're doing both. Do both the onions. You want that flavour of the, the cloves and the bay leaf infusing that milk. So once you've got to that stage and you've got your onion and your cloves and your bay leaf together, all we're going to do is get our pan face side down with the bay leaf on the bottom, with both onions, and we're just going to pour our milk over the top. And that's just going to go onto a gentle heat warming up. So next job guys we're going to move on to the making of this sauce so we have our milk and our onions on there, our clouté, um, coming to a nice gentle simmer and just warming up slowly, warming that milk up slowly. Um, so the next thing you need is you need your butter, your flour and your mustard powder and your cheeses. Um, you will use half of this cheese at the moment and the other half of it will be used for sprinkling them on the top of the macaroni once it goes into the oven stage. Um, so without further ado, let's get cracking on with this roux. So you want a nice pan, you want to throw in that butter straight into that pan. Let that, come, let, let that melt down to a, a syrup. I should have just say when it's melted. That's 
once that's all melted, we're just going to throw in that, that flour and the mustard powder. Once you're at that stage, throw in all that flour. Make sure you turn it down a little bit so it's not overcooking. And incorporate all that flour into that butter. This is what makes our cheese sauce nice and thick. Keeping your eye on that milk and the clouté to make sure it's not boiling over. And it's still coming up to a nice gentle simmer. Something that looks a bit like that. Nice thick. Just cook it out for at least two minutes just to cook out some of that flour. But all we're going to do now is slowly add that infusing milk into our roux. Just give it a couple of minutes while it starts to thicken up. As you can see it's thickening up nicely. Don't try and over overcook it too quickly because it will catch and it will burn. You just want it on a nice low gentle gentle heat mixing it through nice and quick so none of it get catches on the bottom. Get the rest of that milk in there. Don't need the onions or the clouté anymore so we can get rid of that bit. Once you've got rid of all those lumps, it's about time to add our half of our cheese. So that's what your sauce needs to look like now guys before we start adding the sauce. So half the cheese in. Parmesan in, pinch of salt, and just mix that in nicely until it's melted. And that is your cheese sauce. Once all that cheese is nicely melted in, we're going to move on to the cooking of our macaroni. So, what you'll need for this bit is uh, about a litre's worth of water, a nice generous drizzle of oil in there just to stop the pasta from sticking together and also a nice pinch of seasoning in there as well. So all we're going to do is get that up to the boil and throw in the macaroni once it's boiling. We're going to cook that for roughly about 10 to 15 minutes depending on how good your cooker is. So coming up to the boil now, just going to throw in all that macaroni in there. Give it a mix round so all that oil gets incorporated through the macaroni, stop it from sticking together while it's cooking. Once that's cooked, I'm just going to strain it off in about 10 to 15 minutes. So once your macaroni is all cooked, your cheese sauce is there, your cauliflower is all there, and your breadcrumbs and your uh, leftover cheese, this is basically what you're going to end up with. So you just need to finally top it with your breadcrumbs and your uh, extra cheese and we're just going to pop that into the oven at 200 degrees for 15 to 20 minutes. So guys, once, you, once your uh, macaroni cheese has been in the oven for 15 to 20 minutes, this is probably the product you're looking for, that nice golden colour on top. So once we're at this, this stage, we're pretty much ready to, to serve up really. Uh, I do, I would say that this recipe does at least two people, if not three. Um, so all I'm going to do there is just take a nice big scoop of it, put it in the bowl. You can dress this with a nice bit of salad if you wish. I'm just going to eat it as it is for now. I'm just going to serve it up with a, a nice touch of chives just to kind of put that chefy touch to it. And that's pretty much what, you, what you're looking at. Um, thanks for tuning in, guys, and uh, I hope you, you, you can take some valid points away from this cookery class, and uh, I'll hopefully see you, or you can tune in next week for the, for the next cook-along. Cheers, guys.